to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? Not a novice, least being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without, least he fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. Likewise, must the deacons be grave, not double-tongued, not given to wine, much wine, I'm sorry, not given to much wine, not greedy of filthy lucre, holding the mystery of the faith in a pure conscience. And let these also first be proved, then let them use the office of a deacon being found blameless. Even so much their wives be grave, not slanderous, sober, faithful in all things. Let the deacon be the husband of one wife, ruling their children and their own houses well. Verse 13 reads, uh, For they that have used the office of a deacon well purchase to themselves a good degree, de degree and great boldness in the faith which is in Christ Jesus. These things write I unto thee, hoping to come unto thee shortly. But if I tarry long, that thou mayest know how thou oughtest to behave thyself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. That's our reading, 1 Timothy chapter 3. We are now going to welcome Bob officially as a worker for the Lord. And it's my privilege to pray to our Heavenly Father regarding this appointment. Mm. This is not an honorary position. It's not because he's been here for a specific amount of time, it's because he is taking on responsibilities officially and he is putting himself under the microscope of others for your sake, for our sake. He's helping us as elders, he's helping you as members of the church and this is such an honor, yeah. mm -hmm. but it is mostly just an official recognition of the responsibility that God has planned for his church on this earth to operate. Amen. Let us talk to God about this. Dear Lord, our most gracious Heavenly Father, I am continually amazed that you're not only a loving God, but you're a caring God, and by that, I'm talking about how you have an individual desire for each one of us, but especially those that are put forward as leaders in the church that you had planned since the beginning of time. And Father, as we welcome Bob into the fold of the workers here, we do this in accordance with your great plan for how the church is to operate here in this world. Mm -hmm. And we love the fact that you love us enough that before we were even created, you had the plans as to how things would operate and that you have prepared th the mechanics of operating the church. And if you are that loving and particular, we have the total assurity of knowing that you have planned a place for us to be with you forever if we remain faithful to the, the cause that we have been baptized into. Father, I, I'm delighted to stand before the church here this morning to welcome Bob into the midst of the leadership here officially and to follow the examples that were laid down centuries ago so that we can better serve the flock here and follow 
the plans that you so wisely have set into place. Mm -hmm. Father, we love you. We are humbled by the fact that you love us so much and we're humbled by the fact that you sent your son, Jesus the Christ, to show us the way. Father, be with us as we go forward, be especially with Bob as he takes on the, the, the official responsibilities of being a deacon, but help us all to know that we don't become sinless because of our position. We are sinless because you have forgiven our sins and if we keep on coming to you for forgiveness, because we do sin even after we're baptized, that you still accept us as your faithful servants because this is your plan for our being close to you and for our continually having our robes white through the blood of Jesus the Christ, your Son and our Savior. And Father, we pray this in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ and is interpreted by the Holy Spirit that resides within us. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Steve. Oh, here he is. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you know our first yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a chance to meet that wife of yours this morning. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.